What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. We are here today with. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica, what? Jesse. Jessica, Jesse. Jessica, Jesse. Speak up Jesse. a little bit so they can hear you. Jessica, Jessie. Jessica, Jessie. AKA Jessica Flay. Jessica Flay. All right. Now, if you guys see what she's wearing, okay, let's see the other side. That's an Olympia jacket, okay? Jess is an IFPB pro. She's competed in the Olympia before, the Arnold. And Jess, actually, how do we meet Jess? We met, well, we met, I guess we met at the Arnold. I met you and Carrie, and I was telling you, I'm from Maryland, and I don't like working at Lifetime because it's so, like, tra-la-la. -la. We told her, we got this great gym, and she's like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then I was like, well, they said it's behind the Lazy Boy, and I had no idea where it was. And then, like, a year later, I discovered it, and I was, um, I had just finished competing in the Arnold 2012, and I needed, I wasn't out of shape, but I needed a good kick in the ass. And that's when I came to you to get me my shape for my wedding. So I got this uh, this message on Facebook. And of course, you don't know if people are real or if it's like a fake account or something. So it was like, my name's Jessica Jesse. da da da, I'm looking to get in shape for my wedding. So I'm like, honey, do you know who Jessica Jesse is? And she's like, yeah, why? I'm like, uh, she wants me to train her. She's like, what? So yeah, for the wedding. So we met you here. We started training, you got married, you looked great. And then I started to get more and more bikini competitors. And I was like, well, I can't teach these girls how to walk and pose. So I contacted Jess, I said, Jess, help. So we've been putting together bikini competitors for, this is our second year doing it. Right, now, Jess has all these cool things with her that I wanna show everybody, because she should be very proud of them. If you've never seen this stuff before, it's from the Olympia, the Arnold, let's walk through you know, a couple of these things. You show them what you want to show them. Okay. Well, this one is one from my first, very first show, my first NPC show in New York. So that's probably my favorite and closest to my heart. And I won this show. I don't know if I deserve to win this show, but I won it because I've got awesome stage presence. <laughs> Brutal honesty. <laughs> I don't know if I deserve to win. But. but my stage presence knocked me over the top. Then, this is my, when I, I did four NPC shows before um, I turned pro. An amount of 10 weeks and I never won the overall but I did win all my shows but this one when I turned pro I did win the overall and it was like worth not winning the overall because it was such a big deal that's Probably. junior nats right junior nationals yeah what year was it 2010 2010 yeah it was the first show you could turn pro at which is good and I suggest to other competitors because then if I had seen somebody else turn pro before I turn pro, you know, it's all about it. It can be mind games. So uh -huh. I always, and I always would come out the first show of the year, like when I um, came out for St. Louis and qualified for the Olympia. It was the first show of the year, and I did awesome. And but then backpedaling, my first pro show, I qualified for Olympia, and that was Hartford, Connecticut. And then this was one of the shows where I got second place. This the trophy's almost as big as you are. <laughs> it's a big cup. I got second place, and this is so pathetic. I was so devastated. Mind you, I lost to Diana Dahlgren, who was on the cover of Flex at the time. Second place, which now I look back and I'm like, oh my god, you know, it should be so awesome that I got second place. But I was so upset. On the way home, I just like went home. I went to we went to CVS, and I like got. Snickers bars, and I just got everything, granola bars, everything that I craved, and I put it all in this cup. And I just went home, and I ate the whole thing, and I was so, so, so sick. But now, just be, I think it was funny that I did that. So does sometimes the emotions kind of get in play, like at the end of a show, if you don't feel like you placed as good, or... Hell yeah. Or sometimes you place better than you thought you would, and you're like, holy shit, or is it... Um, well, no, I've never got that No, one. because even, I always want to win. <laughs> even with the win, you... I always remember we talk about this. You always get those like Monday blues. The letdown. And it's like it's, if you win second place, ninth place, whatever place it is, you always are like it's kind of it's always what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next, or like I don't, I just don't know. And I we go through this with the girls. I, I've never seen anybody back Monday that's like yeah, let's go, woo, let's go. It's just I don't I don't. Unless know. they have another show like a week later or two or something that they hop right back in and. They get going, but it's yeah. like if you don't have that goal and you've been training for 10, 12 weeks, suddenly you have that, like, well, what do I do now? Yeah. 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 And then you just, like, you have to face, because doing these, when you're in prep for a show, you, it's kind of like a step out from reality. Like, yeah, you're, you're consumed your own, with that show. Yeah, you're in your own little selfish land. 
on your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, um, well, I think that oh, personally that's yes. the, 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 the crowning achievement. That's yes. So this is like very heavy, but this is 2011. I was in two Olympias, and this was the 2011 Olympia. And participant. <sighs> See, I'm so mad about that too. You know, <laughs> there's gonna be <laughs> there's gonna be people that enter other shows and turn pro, etc. So yeah, I'd probably be wearing that all the time, like Flavor Flav. That would be like my clock. But the Olympia is, if you get to compete in the Olympia, that means you're one of the best in the world. So that signifies around your neck right now yes. that you were one of the best in the world. So that yeah, I would, I'd either have it hanging from my rearview mirror. Right, I have it as like a hood ornament, or I have it like, <laughs> you wear it all the time. That's, to me, that's like one of the crowning achievements that you can get in Olympia medal. Yeah. And you also have the jacket that you were wearing, but you also have the, the Arnold jacket too, right? Yep, the Arnold jacket. But, um, I also, also oh, yeah. have the Arnold, the Arnold medal, but... It's at home. It's at home somewhere. See, now again, those jackets are something you can only get as a competitor. Yeah. yeah. Right. See, and the sad thing is that I didn't place in the Arnold, I didn't place in the field. I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad. And that's what makes me not a good competitor because I get so angry about it. But then doesn't it drive you to go back again and try harder? Yeah. And um, JM used to always say to me, you're only as good as your last show. I say the same thing too. Like That's what people remember. Yes, but my last show was my worst show. So. Oh, so you don't. <laughs> so you haven't competed in a while. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do you have any aspirations possibly competing in the future? or? Well, let's see. I've competed in a total of 14 shows. And You've won how many of those? I, well, I won, I won all my NPC shows, every single NPC show when I turned pro, and then I'm queen of second place. <laughs> second place, second place, second place. But I've got. Um, I well, mean, Jake I, Cutler was queen. Of, well, not queen of second place. He was king of second place for a while. Yeah, but yeah, I know it's it's motivating, but. Now, do you feel the same rush when one of your competitors gets on stage? Well, I will say I get way more nervous. Right, I freak out too. I ship bricks for like yeah. the 48 hours before. And I, I get like the highest anxiety, and yeah, and I just want, and I know how the what the blow can be afterwards if they don't place as high as I want to or we think that they should, and that breaks my heart because they come in here and they feel so great about themselves, and then they let you know the judges or how they place affect how they feel and how hard they worked and that's that crushes me and that crushed me so I and I can relate to that right. and I just I just wish there was a way to to keep people up after that and I don't like I don't I don't know if that exists if that can be another thing we try to do is if you know we have more than one competitor in a in a show we try not to have more than one in each class right. so you don't want to have two against each other and we do that with figure and stuff too so. Because at the end of the day, I don't care what anybody says, you're, you're, you have to, right. when I was doing Bombshell and there was 12 girls in the Olympia. If any of them beat you, you're pissed at them. <laughs> well, no, yeah, so much that, but the coaches, they. Right, they gonna, can't give the attention to everybody equally yeah. like that. Cool, so I want to introduce you guys to Jazz because we're going to be doing some filming for some training and stuff. Because despite what many people think, the first time that I saw Jazz train, which is the first time I saw a professional bikini competitor train, I was like, holy shit, they train hard. <laughs> Not that I don't think bikini, bikini competitors train hard, but it was just a different level as a pro. So, do you have any closing words, Jess? No, just that I'm thankful for our friendship and that we can work together. We train hard and get big. <laughs>